So far, we have uh, returned action result objects. And the action result type provides information to MVC about the type of HTTP response an action method should return. So the action result is really just another data type. And what we have primarily been returning are views. So what's going on kind of underneath the hood is that we have an I action result interface. Action result implements the interface. And then we have several different subtypes that extend action result. And uh, view result is one of the subtypes. Redirect is also a subtype. So we've got a list of common subtypes here, and we've actually used content result uh, when we returned the string. Instead of going to a view, we displayed the string. That was a content result. So we've used a couple of these. Uh, the controller class includes several methods that create action result objects. So the methods include view, which we have used. That's how we get the view result object. Uh, redirect, redirect to action. So the difference, redirect, redirects to a different URL. Redirect to action takes you to a different action method. And a file and JSON are pretty self-explanatory because one creates a file result and the other one is a JSON result. Now, all of these methods can be overloaded. And we've done some of that already too because we've returned just a regular view and we've returned a view and we've passed the model. We've returned a view, and in double quotes, we've specified that it route to a different view. And you can also specify that it routes to a different view and pass along the model. So what we're gonna be doing next is Oh, playing with some of these different methods.